Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. So friends, finally Mitsugo has started sending email for the aptitude test. So Mitsugo Technical Private Limited call letter for online aptitude test. So in this video, we are going to solve aptitude question which was asked in the previous year in Mitsugo company, right? So the level of the question was easy to moderate. So please watch the video till the end so that you will be getting a proper idea that how and what will be the level of the questions in the examination, right? Okay, now, so you can read this. So greetings from Mitsugo Technical uh, Technology Private Limited. Thank you for applying for the position of Op Campus 2023. Our selection process starts with an online aptitude test, which you can attend from your home on Saturday, 27th of January 2024 from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Link will be shared tomorrow. That means tomorrow you will be getting the link. Now, before we proceed, friends, please do like the video because it takes a lot of effort in getting the question, solving it, recording the video, editing, uploading, thumbnail. So behind one video, it takes around four to five hours, right? So please do like and subscribe to the channel. So you will be having 60 questions, which you will be solving in 60 minutes, right? So the test contains of 60 questions and the duration will be 60 minutes. So one minute, right? One question, right? And the question, as I said, it will be easy to moderate. So you will be easily able to solve it. Now, friends, one more thing. So sometime back on our channel, if you see, we had uploaded this hiring like myths go. And this is for fresher hiring, right? BEB tech, all stream graduates. So now uh, the, definitely they have closed the, if you'll see, they have closed the uh, you know, page itself. So now you will not be able to apply for it. Okay, now fine. So uh, on our channel, we will be doing all those things. So that's the reason I asked you to subscribe so that you don't miss any opportunity. Now, question number one. So question number one belongs to topic percentage. The difference between 60% of a number and 12% of the same number is 784. What is 54% of the number? Now you can directly write this, okay? So the difference between 60% of the number and 12% of the same number is equals to 784, right? Okay, now, so what is the difference? So difference is nothing but 48%. So 48% is equals to 784. They want 54% of the value. So 1% will be equal to 784 by 48, okay? And then 54%, that means multiply both sides by 54. Multiply both sides by 54, solve it, you will be getting the answer. Now, so this both number, so let us try to divide it by 8, okay? So 8, 6 are 48, and 8, 9 are 72, and 8, 8 are, and then 6, 9 are. So 900 minus 18. So it will be uh, 882. So 882 will become the number, right? So what is the 54% of that number? So 54% of that number is nothing but 882, right? So this is how you have to solve. Easy problem will be there one minute will be more than sufficient. You do not have to take X, Y, Z here because friends, X in real life or X in mathematics always troubles, right? And X is not required here. Please try to understand. So all these calculations you need to understand. Now, second question is from ratio and proportion. If A is equals to B is 3 is to 7 and B is to C is 5 is to 3, right? Okay, no problem. So A is to B is 3 is to 7 and B is to C is 5 is to 3. So please write it like this. I hope your basic is clear, okay? If your basic is not clear, I will tell you one more method. So this is how we have to write. So A is to B and this will be B is to C. Now multiply this two, multiply this two and multiply this two. So 3 into 5 is 15, 7 into 5 is 35 and 7 into 3 is 21. So A is to C, so A is to C 15 is to 21 will become your answer 5 is to 7. Clear? Okay. Now, this also you could have done it. So, B is at two different places, but the value of B is different. So, try to make the value of B same. So, I will multiply by 5 here, and then I will multiply by 7 here. So, this will be 15 is to 35, and this will be 35 is to 21, because my aim is to make B same. B is at two, dif two different places. See, B is same but it has two different places. So try to make B same. Okay, now, so A is what 15 and C is what 21. Again, five is to seven, right? So this is how you will be able to calculate the ratio. All basic questions. So you do not have to use a lot of your mind. All basic questions only has been asked in the 
Mitsugo aptitude round. Now, if one third of, if one third of, three eight of, a number is equals to twenty seven. Sir, what is that number? Let us take x. X is not required, right? So in real life also, x will trouble, and maths also x will trouble. So please avoid x as much as possible. Otherwise, your present, you know, the present question or your present life both will be disturbed, right? Okay, now. So what you can do this and this is cancelled. So one will be equal to eight into twenty-seven. That means that number is nothing but eight seven ja fifty-six and sixteen plus five two hundred and sixty. 216 if you take x then instead of 1 x will come what is the use of taking x you tell me okay unnecessary don't create the confusion so don't take x without taking x only if you are able to solve then fine see if somewhere x is required then you have to take right okay now the next question so a man ate 120 bananas in 6 days each day he ate 6 bananas more than the previous day how many banana he ate at the First day, right? Okay. So this question you can take x because wherever it is required, you have to take. So suppose the first day the main ate x banana, right? Now, so what they are telling in the question each day he is eating six more banana from the previous day. That means yesterday if I ate ten, today I will eat ten plus six sixteen. Tomorrow I will eat sixteen plus six twenty two. So every day, right? So I am eating six six more banana. So first day x banana, second day x plus six, right? Third day x plus six plus six that is twelve. Then x plus twelve plus six eighteen, and then x plus eighteen plus six twenty four, and then x plus twenty four plus six thirty, right? So first day six, then second day I ate. Uh, you know the man ate six more banana. Third day the man ate six more banana from the previous day. And like this, he ate for six days, right? Six days. Now, so total banana he ate is one twenty. Six times x is six x. Then twelve plus ah uh, six is eighteen. Eighteen plus eighteen is twenty six. And twenty ah uh, sorry, eighteen plus eighteen is thirty six. Thirty six plus twenty four is sixty. Sixty plus thirty is ninety. Is one twenty. Six x is equals to thirty. X is nothing but equal to five. That means first day the main. The man ate five bananas. You can also put the values here and check five, and then five plus six is eleven, right? And then eleven plus six is seventeen. Seventeen plus six is twenty-three. Twenty-three, right? Twenty-three plus six is twenty-nine, and twenty-nine plus six will be nothing but thirty-five. Now, if you add, so this is only forty, okay? And this is again forty, and this is again forty, so it will be one twenty. That means your answer is perfectly. All right, right. I verified your answers, and then also I showed you. Now, question number five. This kind of questions already we have done. Okay. So, in a mathematics exam, a student multiplied a number by two by five instead of dividing the number by two by five. I will take first x, and then I will replace x by your present. Don't worry. So, basically, the number was x. Okay. The man had to divide it by two by five. Okay. But what he did. So instead of dividing by two by five, he divided. He multiplied by two by five, right? So this was the correct one, right? And that he has done a mistake. Agree? See, a man has to divide it by two by five, okay? But what he did, he what he did, he multiplied by two by five. So that is what error you have to find it out. Percentage error. Now, so friends, when In the option, right? So definitely you have to find out percentage. So when you have to find out percentage, then you can assume any value. No need to assume x. Okay? No need to assume x. You can assume any value. Sir, what value should I assume? Now you tell me, sir, what value I should assume? So we have two and five. So take the LCM of two and five, ten. Assume ten. So instead of x, I am going to assume ten. Two. This five will go up. Okay? And here if you see, so ten into two by five. Now so two fives are. This became twenty-five, and this became ah uh, four, right? Okay. Now, if you have to calculate the error, so how much error he did? So he did error of twenty-one, right? Okay. From where? From twenty-five, okay? And then multiplied by hundred because you want to calculate percentage. Now eighty-four percentage will be the answer. I can tell you directly. See, percentage will be always calculated on hundred. So try to make hundred. Now, if you want to make it hundred, multiply by four, right? 
So here also you'll have to multiply by four. So this is 25 into four is 100, four into four is 16. So what is error? 100 minus 16, 84. 100, if your base is 100, you can directly say, sir, the percentage error is 84, right? So friends, this tricks now, if you are not aware, right? So this tricks, if you're not aware, then I can just tell you, right? So you, you know, get this achievers 2.4 batch. Okay. Because everything has been taught from very much basics and you have many placement examination lined up, right? So now for at least, uh, you know, for all the batches, 2024, 2023. So this particular achiever batch will help you. Okay. So we have the specific, right? Like crash course is there. We have, you know, aptitude, we have verbal ability, we have, you uh, know, uh, each and everything from basic to advanced level, we have programming, right? So each and everything test series, right? Mock test with video solution. What not is there in this course, right? Okay, so you can get this. The link will be there in the description. Now, question number six. In a mathematics exam, a student multiplied a number by nine by 10 instead of dividing the number. So again, if you'll see here, so this was the correct, which had to divide, but he had done a mistake. So similar question, right? So similar question. So similar question again. Now, so what is the value we are going to assume? So just take the LCM of 9, 10. It will be 90. Okay, now. So he has to basically divide by 9 by 10. But what he did, he multiplied by 9 by 10. That is a mistake he did, right? But you don't have to do any mistake in the examination because I am giving you the clear concept, right? Okay, now. So this will be 90. 10 will go up divided by 9. And this will be, uh, this is nine times, so 81, right? And this is 10 times, so 10 into 10 is 100. Now, when the base is 100, you can directly say, sir, the difference is 19. That means there is an error of 19%. That means there is an error of 19%. All these questions will not take even one minute, right? So if you say, sir, 60 minutes, 60 question, then you know what I mean, right? So this all these questions can be solved in 30 seconds. Now, so question number seven, you have zero, nine, 36, 81, 144, and then what? So you see this is 0 square is 0, 3 square is 9, 6 square is 36, 9 square is 181, 12 square is 144, three, 0 square, 3 square, 6 square, 3, 6, 9, 12, and next will be 15 square. So 15 square will be nothing but 225. So the missing number here will be 225, right? And that is the correct answer. Now, question number eight. Sum of two numbers is 80. Sum of two numbers is 80. Sum of two numbers is 80. And the product of this number is 1575. What will be the LCM of this number? So first we have to find out this two number. Okay. Now, so friends, one thing which I wanted to tell you, if you want their multiplication as 1575, that means at the end five, that means both the numbers know should end with five. That is what I mean to say. So either you keep this 15 and why you keep this uh, 65 because their sum should be 80 or you keep this 25 and keep this 55 or you keep this 35 and keep this 45. Reason because five into five is what? 25. Five into five is what? 25. Five into five is what? 25. Now any other number you cannot take. Okay. You might say, sir, what if uh, we take uh, suppose 13 and 55. So 3 into 5 will be what? 3 into 5 will be what? 15. At the end, 5 will come. But some will not be 80, right? Okay, now. So just multiply and say 15, 6 and 900 and 75. So it will be something 1000. This will not be the value. 25 into 55. 25 into 50 will be 1 to 5 0. And again, 1 to 5. So it will be 1 3. So this will be also not there. So definitely this two value will be equal to 1 5 7 5. You can also do Right. So you can also do what? So you can also calculate X minus Y square will be equal to X plus Y square minus 4XY. So X plus Y square, 80 square minus 4 into 1XY, uh, 1575. So this will be 6400 minus 6300, which will be equal to 100. So X minus Y will be equal to 10 and X plus Y is equals to 80. So 2X is equals to 90. So X will be 45 and y will be 35, right? And y will be 35, right? Here also I have already told you. So see, you have to think in the exam and then you have to solve. Now we have 35, five into seven, and now we have 45, five into nine. You have to take the LCM, five is common, 
So instead of two, five, write one, five, seven and nine will go like that. Now, so five into seven, uh, 63 into five, five threes are 15, three, one, five. So the LCM of that number will become 315, right? See, basically I explained you all those things. So you might be feeling that sir is taking more time, but it will not take more time, right? In an easier way, you will be able to do. Once again, I'm telling this achiever, uh, you know, 2.4 batch now it will definitely change the way you solve mathematics it will definitely change the way you think about mathematics okay now question number nine so if radio is coded as so if radio right so if radio is coded as s z e h p then mango will be coded as how so friends you have to keep the code in the mind r r we can write like this so it is 18 a is one D, D is 4, I, so I we can write like this, 9. This is already I have been taught in coding and decoding, right? O, E, J, O, T, 15. S, S I can write like this. I have told you the tricks, right? Where I have told you the tricks in the courses, all the tricks has been told. Z is 26, E is 5, H, H we can write like this, 8, and P is 16. Now if we try to analyze, this is plus 1, right? And then this is minus 1, then this is plus 1, this is minus one. This is plus one. So basically plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one, plus one. Now M, M is 13. M is like this. You can write like this. So it will be 13. A is one N November 14th. G is seven, right? So you can write like this. O is 15. So plus one. So plus one is M N 13 plus one is 14. A, A, how will you write? So Z, right? Same thing, Z. And then 14, 14 plus one will be 15. So O. And then G minus one, seven minus one will be six. F is six. And then again, O, P. So N, Z, O, F, P. N, Z, O, F, P. So mango will be written like this. Clear? Now, question number 10. So this is a very good question from, you can say permutation and combination. At a party, everyone shook hands with everybody else. There were total 12 people in the party. So total how many handsack, handsack will be there, right? So this person, sorry, for a handshake, how many person are required? So sir, for a handshake, two persons are required, right? Okay. Total is 12. And for a handshake, two person is required. So you can write 12 C2. Okay. Total 12 person are there. And for a handshake, total two persons are required. That's all. Now, so if you try to solve it, right? So 12 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 12 minus 2 factorial, right? So N C R N factorial divided by C factorial, uh, sorry, R factorial into N minus R factorial. This is the formula. So now 12 factorial, I will write 12 into 11 into 10 factorial because denominator we are going to have two factorial is two because denominator we are going to have 10 factorial, 10 factorial, 10 factorial cancel six times. So 11 into six is 66, 11 into six is 66, right? So for question number 10, the answer will be 66. NCR is the formula. Okay. Now, question number 12. So, question number 12 is a good question. So, a cow is tied to a corner of a rectangular plot. Okay. So, this is a rectangular plot. A cow is tied to one of the corner of a rectangular plot. Okay. So, suppose the cow is here. And the side of a rectangular plot is 20 meter and 10 meter by a rope. So the cow is tied up with a rope 7 meter. How long area it can graze? Now, friends, if the cow is tied here, then cow can maximum go like this, right? So cow can graze only this area, okay? So if I wanted to say this is nothing but, right? So this is nothing but one-fourth of the, this is nothing but one-fourth of a circle, right? See, the cow does not have to do anything with these two parameters. So this two parameter is waste here does not have to do. Now area of circle will be what? Pi r square. And here we need one fourth of the area because cow rectangular plot is there, no? So cow will start from here. It will go till here because it is tied with the, uh, with a rope and it will come till here. So one by four into pi is 22 by seven. Radius is seven into seven. Now seven and seven canceled. So this will be one uh, and two twos uh, and two 11 times. So this will be 77 by two. That means, um, 76 is 38, 38.5, right? So 38.5 meter square. So the cow will be able to graze in the area of 38.5 meter square, right? 
friends i hope this video uh, is useful for you to uh, you know at least understand what will be the level of the mitsugo aptitude round okay so go with confidence watch the videos which is available on our youtube channel that will be more than sufficient but now please start preparing in advance okay and this achievers 2.4 batch is definitely going to change your life so get it today itself we are also starting with the live classes so this course will definitely uh, you know solve all your uh, purposes and you will definitely get paced with that thank you take care and all the very very best